Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial of 15 Mac shortcuts. I hope they're useful to you in the near future. Okay, so let's start with the first shortcut. Now, the first shortcut is how to open the finder window. Now it's very simple. All it is is just command and F. And there we go. Now the second one is just as simple as the first, except this one helps open the application folder. Now to open the application folder, we need to hit Command, Shift, and A, and voila. Now this third shortcut is, again, very simple, but it is something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and that one is opening the Spotlight menu, which is this. Now the shortcut to open that is simply command and spacebar. This is a shortcut that is again very effective and get, that can be used very often in anybody's life. So for example, let me just open up Google Chrome. Now, if I create a new tab, I want to close that tab, I can just hit command W. Or I can show you in Finder. So if I open this, I can just hit Command W to close the finder window. This is another shortcut which I use very often, and that is basically just to close any application entirely. So instead of just clicking the X button up here, what we can do is simply click Command Q. And yes, this works for any application. For example, I'll show you in Firefox and Messages. Command Q works for them all. This is a function that any Mac user that deletes items should know. For example, I don't want to usually just manually click and say move to trash there. I can just hit Command Delete, which is much simpler. Now, along with the delete function, you should also know how to quickly empty your trash instead of just manually clicking on the trash can and then saying empty trash. What you can do instead is just hit Command, Shift, and Delete at once. And that should bring up the empty trash window. You just click enter, and there you go, trash is empty. Once again, this is a very simple function. Now, this involves minimizing a window or a tab or application entirely. So, for example, let's just open up Google Chrome. Chrome, if I hit Command M, I can minimize it. As you can see, it's still there. Yeah, that's the minimize function. This next shortcut that I'm going to show you is basically just a shortcut to taking a screenshot. So if I just want to take a screenshot of the entire screen here, I can just hit Command, Shift, and 3. There we go, I have my screenshot taken. Now if I want to just take a screenshot of a selected area, then I can hit Command, Shift, 4, which would bring me up with this pointer or cursor type thing. You just select the area that you want to screenshot and screenshot it. Again, it's here. I screenshotted what I wanted to. And there we this go. This next shortcut, which I'm going to show you, is actually pretty cool. It helps you find the definition of a word wherever. So I'll show you in Chrome, for example. If you just want to look up a word, I will look up Apple. And select it. Once you've selected it, just hit Control, Command, D. I uh, will find the definition of Apple, or of any word that you look up. These next couple of functions that I plan to show you can be referred to as intermediate functions. Now this function that I'm going to show you involves hiding and showing the dock. Now the dock is this. So if I want to bring it back, all I have to do is hit Command, Option, and D. If I want to hide it, then just do the same. Command, Option, D. Now moving on to the last four functions. Now this function is something that you need if you have a slow computer or that if you have an application that crashes quite often and hangs your computer. So for example, I'm going to use Chrome as an example once again, and I'll use iTunes. Now suppose that they hang. All I have to do is hit Control option and escape. Now this will take me to the force quit window. Now if I just hit force quit on iTunes and force quit on Chrome, then there we go. 
And if your applications hang, then that can be very useful. There's a function where one just switches three different tabs, and it's simply command tab. So, I'll give you an example. You can switch through different tabs like that. It's very simple, and yet very useful. So now this is a very cool function again. This is a quick search function. This only works with Safari though, which is something that's a little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. So if you just go to text edit, for example, or any sticky text edit, Word document even for that matter, and if you type in any word, you type in control, select it, and then hit command, shift, and L. And quick search in Safari. Now there's the last function, which I'm going to show you, the 15th function. It's, it's kind of cheesy, it's a commonly used thing. It's not something that's going to help you, it's just pretty cool. So it's the invert color function. So that's basically just command, option, control, and 8. So that inverts colors. Now in some computers that may not be enabled, so to enable that, go to your system preferences keyboard. Go to shortcuts, shortcuts, go to accessibility, and then hit the check mark on for that, and then the function will work.